So for crowding in TSNI video, there was a question asked on YouTube by Maradi Krishna Chaitanya Reddy at YouTube. And the question is very interesting. The question goes as follows. The question is, imagine we are taking a 2D data set of four points, x1, x2, x3, x4, which are on a, on a, on a square, right? Where the distances between x1, x4 is d, x3, x4 is d, x3, x2 is d. Similarly, x1, x2 is d. Now, when we try to convert this data from 2D or when we try to project the data from 2D to 1D in TSNI, I said that uh, this is one projection, but what's happening here is uh, I, I put X4 here, right? So what's happening here, if you notice, is um, the question that, uh, that Chaitanya asked is, uh, why are we putting X4 here? Why can't we put X4 on top of X2? So let's say if I place X4 on top of X2, uh, in the video at 6 minutes 14 seconds, I explain that the objective of TSNI is to preserve all the neighborhoods, right? So let's write down the neighborhoods. What is the neighborhood of point x1? So let's assume neighborhood only is about points which are in distance d, right? So the neighborhood of point x1 is x2 and x4, right? In 2D, this is in 2D, right? Similarly, what is the neighborhood of x2? The neighborhood of x2 is again x1 and x3. Similarly, neighborhood of x3 is uh, x4 and x2. And neighborhood of x4 itself is x1 and x3. This is in 2D. Now, when we project it into 1D, let's assume I don't place my x4 here. I place x4 on top of x2, right? Now, one, one good thing that's happening here is uh, for, for x2, sorry, for x1, both x2 and x4 are at distance d. Right? It's satisfying that constraint, but it has to satisfy for all the neighborhoods. Now, with this with this solution, let's look at the neighborhoods in our, uh, in, our, uh, in our 1D space. What is the neighborhood of x1? My neighborhood of x1 is all the points which lie at a distance d. So, my neighborhood of x1 is x2, x4, and these two are same. So, my neighborhood of x1 is well preserved. Right, so because this consists set set of two points x2, x4. My for x1 everything looks good. For x1 life is good. The neighborhood is perfectly preserved. But we also need the neighborhood to be preserved for all the points, not just one point, as we clearly stated it at uh, six minutes fourteen seconds in the original video. Right. What about x2 now? What is the neighborhood of x2? Neighborhood of x2 now is which all points are at a distance of d or less than d. Right, you have x1, you have x3, and x4 because x4 is exactly overlapping with x2, which at a distance of 0. Now, if you notice here in the original 2D space, you had only x1 and x3 at a distance of d. Here, you have the neighborhood has changed because you have new point which is x4 here. So, if you look at it from x2's perspective, the neighborhood is not preserved because I have a new point here, which is which is so because if you see here, I have only x1, x3. Here I have an extra point x4, which should not be the case if my neighborhood is perfectly preserved. What about neighborhood of x3? What happens to my x3? My x3 has x2 and x4. My x3 has x2 and x4. So my x3's neighborhood is perfectly preserved. What about x? Uh, what about x4? What is my uh, what is my x4's neighborhood? My x4 has x1, x3, and x x1, x2 and x3, all three of them in the neighborhood because x2 and x4 are overlapping, right? But here I have only x1 and x3. Here I have a new point which is x2. So my x4's neighborhood is not also being preserved. So if you overlap x2 and x4 while your n1, while your x1 and x3's are preserved, our neighborhoods, the neighborhoods of x1 and x3 are preserved, for x2 and x4, they are not preserved at all. Preservation basically means that these two sets should be exactly same. That's an important distinction. And the neighborhoods of all the points should be preserved if your TSNI is working perfectly. right? And let's not forget the primary objective of TSNI. The primary objective of TSNI is to visualize. Now, if, if I give you two visualizations of points, wherein I give one visualization of points as this, the other visualization of points as this, one on top of other. 
these two are not the same forget about the dimensions let's assume i have three points like this right if i place x whatever x to some 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 configuration this is in no way similar to this configuration of points whatever way you arrange them right that doesn't matter so the whole objective of tsni is to keep the alignment same and neighborhood is only one concept that we are using to make it work the preservation of neighborhood needs to happen needs to hold for all the points not just one point i hope uh, that answers your question krishna chaitanya and i hope others who have the same question also could benefit from this video